Shalom. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, brothers, is pushing this word out in truth and sincerity all across the globe. And this is a quick article I want to, you know, get out. I just recently came across on beforeisnews.com. It says, U.S. economy, time to panic with April job cuts jumping by 35%. And this was published on Thursday, May 12, 2016. In the first video, the Nets News Network spends a good deal of time discussing a recent phenomena in the U.S. economic markets, and one Michael Snyder covered earlier in the week. That phenomena was a job cut jump that was up 35% in the month of April. Some financial pundits are wondering if they should be alarmed that the number of job cuts announced by large U.S. companies was 35% higher in April than it was in March, or if it was just a fluke. In his article below, Michael Snyder responds by stating the obvious when he says, this is definitely a case where the trend is not our friend. According to Michael Snyder and the Nets News Network, according to Challenger, Gray, and Christmas, U.S. firms announced 65,141 job cuts during April, which represented a massive 35% increase over the previous month. Relative to the same time period in 2015, Overall job cuts are running 24% higher in 2016. Does this sudden change events mean that tens of millions of Americans have lost precious time in preparing for what certainly appears as if it could be the warning signs of financial tsunami? Jump down. And it says, meanwhile, on Thursday, we learned that initial claims for unemployment benefits shot up dramatically last week. In fact, the jump of 17,000 was the largest increase that we have seen in over a year. Of course, the U.S. economy has been slowing down for quite a while now, and many have been wondering when we would begin to see the slowdown reflected in the employment numbers. Well, that day has now arrived. At this point, U.S. firms are laying off people at a rate that we have not seen since the last financial crisis. You know, this is prophecy right here coming along that, you know, America, you know, is about to get ready to fall. And one of the ways that it's falling is the financial part of, you know, with the economy collapse that's coming very soon. And I want to get Ecclesiastes 12. I'm going to start at uh, verse 3. It says, in the day when the keepers of the house should tremble, the keepers of the house is going to the banking elites, trickling on down to the, the people watching over the stock markets, you know, the, uh, the guys on Wall Street. In the day when the keepers of the house should tremble, and the strong men should bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out the windows be darkened. And that represent people, you know, looking out the windows be darkened is no hope for America. You know, you got all these people protesting about pray for America. You got Donald Trump saying how he's going to bring, you know, America back. What the scripture says right here, and those that look out the windows be darkened because it's no hope in America. These people want to put their they heart, blood, sweat, and tears in America. Well... I mean, you you basically going against the most high right there. And you're not going to win that battle. I'm going to jump to verse 4. And the door should be shut up in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And you look up that word grinding, it goes to the uh, Hebrew word takana. And you look up the word takana, it says mill, which is spelled M-I-L-L. -L. And the word mill goes into production, you know. So that's basically saying in the streets of America, the production is going to be low or the work is going to be low. The grind is going to be low. He should rise up at the voice of the bird and all the darts of music should be brought low. And I want to get Zephaniah. Uh, 1 and 11.
All right, Zephaniah 1 and 11. It says, How ye inhabitants of Matish, for all the merchant people are cut down. When a person is howling, it's basically they, they crying bitterly. Inhabitants of Matish, those was like uh, it was like a district in the time of Zephaniah, which was known for its trade and commerce, and that's no different in this day, you know, in America because the people that's on Wall Street, you know, dealing with the stock market, they're gonna be uh, howling pretty soon because it's not gonna be any work in the streets, which means they're not gonna be able to take care of their family, which is that's gonna lead into suicide rates. It's gonna be on a higher level. And you're going to have a lot of cannibalism going on. And that's all prophesied in the scriptures. It says, How ye inhabitants of Matesh, for all the merchant people are cut down. All they that bear silver are cut off. Because pretty soon this dollar is going to be, um, you know, it's going to collapse. It's going to be no dollar. It's, going to, it's not going to have any value to it, which is going to lead into the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast of the Bible. I want to get. Isaiah 24 and 10 it says the city of confusion is broken down. The city of confusion is America, you know, also known as Babylon the Great. And the word Babylon goes into the Hebrew word Babal, which means confusion. The city of confusion is broken down. And how, first and foremost, how it's being broken down, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah have their men out there that's proclaiming his name and bring these prophecies out how America's going to fall, which is starting off with uh, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone trickling on down to us brothers. We spiritually tearing this city of confusion down. It's like America is a big tree in the forest, and we spiritually cutting it down with a chainsaw. You know, we bringing out all the wickedness of America. You know, we saying how they're going to pay back for what they did to us in slavery. Letting them know that they're going to go in slavery when it's our time to ruin the kingdom, every nation. So we, we tearing this city of confusion down, surely but slowly. It says the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Verse uh, 11, there is a cry for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. All joy is darkened, which leads back to the previous scripture I brought up in Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, how it says the winds may be darkened. All joy is going to be dark in America because America is brought up on the mind frame of party and bullshit, and that's about to come to a abrupt end. And it says the mirth of the land is gone. That partying spirit, all that's going to be completely gone because you're going to have people riding. It's going to be martial law out in the streets. You're going to have babies getting killed. Uh, you're going to have parents, especially these women. They're going to be eating their kids. You know, so the mirth of the land is going to be gone. And that's a time that the men of the Lord are looking forward to because we know that Yahweh Shah is coming up. You know, he's coming back to destroy this place and deliver us up out of here. Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah brought this up. So that was just, um, I just want to bring that little quick article out for you brothers out there. I hope it was edifying. You know, just stay strong. We almost out of this place, man. The prophecies are they rolling. And a lot of them not gonna be basically in the mainstream media. That's why, you know, we also just be vigilant and we look up uh, alternative news and check out see what's really happening behind the scenes and we filter it out with the scriptures. So I hope this was edifying to you brothers. I wanna say our praises to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to your brothers out there. You brothers stay up, man. Stay strong. Keep continue to pray and uh call upon that name and hang just hang in there. Shallow one.